All right, budget magic time. Playing some four color Hypatra in standard and oh man, so close to being sweet. I think we gotta ship it though with no green mana. We can't attune, we can't Hypatra, we can't really do anything. Hmm. This hand is a bit less exciting. I guess we keep Channeler and just play Cinder Glade past the turn. This hand is a bit action light. If killing things is good, then this hand will be all right. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we run Channeler out there. Better if we can get some counter value out of it, but pass the turn. Could use like a Scarab God or something. Pass, uh, see what our opponent has. Ether Hub, yep. So probably Teamer Energy, Green Red Pummeler, something along those lines. Voltaic Brawler. All right, well, we can just kill that. Opponent thinks about passing, considers it, and passes. <sighs> well, a tune for a... doesn't even matter. Swamp, I guess. For Boating Ruins, reveal the Swamp. And just Harness Lightning the Brawler. And pass the turn. Yikes. Sand is just super short on action. Serve another conduit for our opponent. And passes. Well... Let's start removing counters from our channeler. Come on, something big. <sighs> All right, Harness Lightning the Servant. Play Evolving Wilds. And I guess we just pass land number three for our opponent. Oh, not Pummeler. Long Tusk Cub. Well, Crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a mountain. Come on, deck. Come on. Maybe we should just mold to five? Well, let's remove a counter. Well, well, playing Nest of Scarabs would have been better in some other situations. Well, let's see if we draw anything. Scorpion God would be so insane. I think that's by far the draw that we want. Opponent gets in. Yeah, we got to take it. Down to 18. Follow up. More Long Tusk Cubs. Oh, boy. Come on, deck. All right. Well, let's channel our initiate. Put the counters on the old Channeler Initiate. Get some 1-1s. One and we might as well play the Swamp. Our opponent knows about it. Pass the turn. There's an Ether Hub. And there's a Pummeler. Oh, boy. We might just die to Pummeler. Opponent. Passes. We draw nothing. Pass the turn. Yeah, this draw's been pretty bad for us. So I'm expecting that Pummeler just kills us here. Opponent doesn't even need much. Any pump spell and we're just dead. Yep. All right. Well, the downside of mulliganing. We just... The no action hand, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, bring in the other Abraid. Maybe bring in another Magma Spray? I don't even know if we need to. Yeah. Let's just bring in one more Abraid for Pummeler. Hope that we draw a Scorpion God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, Scorpion God. That was a, a few more lands than we wanted. Well, let's go down one nest to Scarabs. Try it like that. We're only playing 20 lands. We do have four tunes, so it's kind of like 24, but... Who? Lordy! Seven, eight lands is just not going to get it done with this deck. Unless we have a Scorpion God. We get to play first. Okay, I guess we try this. I mean, this hand is sweet, if we find some more action. We got a couple good removal spells. We got Nest of Scarabs, which is huge. So let's crack this. I think we just start with a mountain. So that's the good news. But we only have one actual threat. A punished for our fetching. Evolving Wilds. Bonet. Passing. Well, crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a... Grab a forest... Play Ether Hub, get an energy, run out our nest of scarabs, pass the turd. We're out of black mana until after we harness lightning. Ether Hub for our opponent. And what's their hand? Alright, Forboding Ruins is a good draw. Forboding Ruins tapped, pass the turd. Another Ether Hub. Bristling Hydra here is pretty annoying. Long Tusk Cub. Well, let's Harness Lightning. 
Opponent has Blossoming Defense. Okay. So, Harness Lightning, part two. Kill Long Tusk Cub. Play Hapatra. Play Ether Hub. And pass the turn. See what our opponent has. There's a Forest. Oh, God. And a Glory Bringer. Oh, boy. Yep. Exerts. Kills our Hapatra. So we're probably dead to Glory Bringer. So I guess we just Crocodile the Crossing. Put a counter on it. Get a 1 1. Get in 4 4. Grind to Dust kind of gives us a chance. See what our opponent has here. We're a land away from just Grind, Flashback, or Aftermath Dust. Kill two things. Opponents passing. What is our opponent's hand? We get a Hapatra. Well, let's go attacking, see what our opponent does. Opponent takes it down to 11. Yeah, let's just grind. Put a counter on Glorybringer. We get a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. And then I guess we just abrade it right now, in case they have a pump spell. Saves us damage. They do. Have another Blossoming Defense. Yep. Well, we get to kill it next turn, but they can kill our crocodile before we get rid of it. Mountain for our opponent. So I'm assuming they just shoot down our crocodile. Yep. Hmm. That is pretty annoying. Oh, glory bringers. Yep. So down to 13. Voltaic Brawler. Also annoying. We could use Channeler. Would be pretty sweet. Opponent passes. That's a channeler. All right, so play Hapatra. Play channeler. Whoo! All right. Get a bunch of 1 1s and a death touch snake and pass the turn. We're close. We're close to closing this game out. Channeler was a very good draw there. Either up for our opponent. Another Brawler, down to one card in hand. Bonet, no attacks. A tune, not super exciting. Well, we need to get rid of Glorybringer. All right, Glorybringer down. And I guess we might as well attune a land out of our deck. Grab a... It really doesn't matter, does it? I guess black, in case we draw the Scorpion God, eventually. We have not drawn many Scorpion Gods. Pass the turn. I mean, we're staying alive for the time being. We have good draws. Scorpion God would be an insanely good draw. Opponent. Passing. We draw. Second Hapatra is not super exciting. Actually, it kind of is. Let's attack with Hapatra. Ooh. Wow. Opponent's going to take it? That works. So now we get to put a counter on Voltaic Brawler, which gets us more snakes and more insects. Pass the turn. And then next turn we might just another Voltaic Brawler. Next turn we might just all out attack. Opponent goes attacking. Ooh, interesting. Gonna spend their energy. Well, does this make sense? What if they had invigorating rampage doesn't kill us all right invigorating rampage yep well we kill a bunch of stuff drop to nine might as well take a counter off of our channeler Ooh. well let's attack with hapatra and i guess death touch snake yeah we're pretty fine with that trade since we have a second hapatra in hand and it's legendary and now we can deal with anything pretty much short of a bristling hydra. Get in with Hapatra. Put a counter on Channeler. Get some more 1-1s. One and, I mean, we got lethal. Our opponent needs a sweeper here, I think. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Whew. Well, we survived. We survived the Glorybringer. Maybe we want these cuts to kill Glorybringer over the Magma Sprays? Uh, Magma Spray kills Long Tusk Cub on turn two, though. Maybe we gotta go down a grind and stay with two of braids. Let's try that. Uh, Alright, I mean, no removal, but this is a pretty action-filled hand. 
Evolving Wilds passed the turn. A little worried about just getting buried under Long Tusk Cub, but apart from that, this hand looks pretty good. Ether Hub, come on, no Long Tusk Cub. Ooh, no anything? That is pretty sweet. All right, crack this, grab a Swamp. And now all of our, well, most of our lands are going to come into play untapped. Tune with Ether. We'll play the Forest and run out our, hmm. Let's run out Hapatra. Pass the turn. Bonent. Mountain. They can't really play Pummeler here because of Hapatra. Long Tusk Cub. Okay. And passes. Well, play Channeler Initiate. Counters on Channeler. Ooh, all right. We get our Death Touch Snake. That's big. That is really big. And then let's just Cinder Glade and search a land out of our deck. Grab a Mountain. Pass the turn. Jeez, we can even attack? Is it worth it? Eh, I don't think so. Let's pass. Since we have this Death Touch Snake, it's going to be challenging for our opponent to attack with Long Tusk Cub here. There's a forest, and a brawler, get some more energy, and passes. All right, ooh, magma spray. Magma spray is pretty sweet. So play the mountain. I think we're gonna crocodile. Play crocodile the crossings. Put the counter back on our channeler. This is what our deck wants to be doing. We're seeing this is like exactly what we're trying to do. And now we're going to go beat downs with our crocodile, I think. Get in some damages. Glorybringer could still be good here, but Glorybringer is always good. Opponent plays Blossoming Defense. Yep. Trades with Crocodile. That's pretty fine. We can take that. And pass the turn. Oh, man. Scarab God. Come on, Scarab God. So our opponent have Glorybringer. Looks like no. Opponent's passing. Amid Eternal is actually pretty good here. So let's run out Amid Eternal. Play Evolving Wilds. Get in with our Death Touch Snakes. And now whenever our opponent casts a spell, we're getting another snake from our Amid Eternal. Tune with Ether. Yup, snake for us. Thank you. Oh man, when Hippotris is out there, it's actually really powerful. Opponent gets their blue mana. Well, let's remove a counter and crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a, another mountain. A tune. Well, let's a tune. Get a forest. Play a forest. Play Obelisk Spider. And I guess we're going to do some attacking. Do we attack with Amid Eternal? It's so good if it just sits out. And a pump spell does beat it. Let's just attack with our Death Touch Snakes. Go a little conservatively. I feel like we're in good enough shape that we can play slightly conservatively here. We have a pretty good setup going. Oh man. Opponent just keeps giving us more snakes. And now they're also getting drained. By our spider. It's like Hippitrocrats. <laughs> Hippitrocrats? <laughs> oh, yes. Bone it. Passing. Remove a counter. What do we draw? Another spider. Well, we will take it. Spider number two. And do some attacking with our death touch snakes. Get in there. And our opponent's getting to the point where they're almost locked from playing spells. I mean, not quite, but every spell they cast is getting us a snake and draining for two. Now I don't even think Glorybringer beats us. I think I think our opponent's in really rough shape. Harness Lightning, going for Hippatra. Sure. I mean, Hippatra's kind of done her job. Opponent's down to eight. We get another snake. And, I mean, we're swinging with everything. Yeah, I mean, if you got an answer, you got an answer. We're going for it. Opponent, passing. Remove a counter from our channeler. Make it as big as possible. Untap. Harness Lightning. All right, let's do it. Harness Lightning, Voltaic Brawler. Kill it. Swing with the crew. And that should do it. And our opponent scoops it up. 
sweet? Well, that is what we're trying to do with Hapatra. That is the best example of what Hapatra can do if it just sits out. It can be pretty strong. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.